Okay, and uh, welcome back. Um, we only got a few more bags left to go. Um, let's see. Star Wars Rebellion for PC. Zork Anthology, which comes with, which came with the um, little booklets for it. I picked these up. I don't know if I'm gonna actually use them or not. I kind of think I will, but. I, I don't know yet. Um, it's a removable hard disk drawer. Um, it's IDE though, so it's kind of more for my older drives that I, I might still use. And then two drive trays, two additional drive trays for it. But I might not even use it, I might end up like selling it or something, I don't know yet. Um, Mission Force Cyberstorm, which isn't really worth much, but I love this game, and I have a copy of it somewhere in a box packed away, and I just wanted to buy it because it was, I don't know, I just, I really like this game, and the, uh, the second one too. Then I get this, which I'm not exactly even sure what it is, if it's a compilation or if it's like a demo thing, but it has... Cyber Swine, Popeye and the Quest for the Woolly Mammoth, and Choose Your Own Nightmare. It's kind of like a uh, 3D interactive movie type thing, I think, based on what I've looked up. Uh, save that one but for later. Um, I got these three games because, I don't know. I think I... No, I didn't. That was before they changed the price on them. Um, I got these three games at a Goodwill that I usually go to all the time, and I usually find a ton of... Well, when I do find stuff there, it's reasonably priced. And I picked this up because it was... I actually did a video of this, so I don't know. I might end up putting it up. I probably won't in the in, in my car. But it's on NASCAR Racing from... It's before Sierra started publishing it. Um, so I got that, and then a track pack for it, and I picked this up mainly because it was all by itself if I picked, bought the other ones, um, the 1999 edition of NASCAR Racing, but the place I bought those from, I went back there like a week after I bought those, and they had more NASCAR racing stuff, but all the prices were $5, which is like $2 more than what they normally are, and so I didn't want to buy them for that price because that's ridiculous. And then I picked up sci-fi movie on VHS, Goraft. A few more things. Um, look at the wall. This next set of stuff I got a phone call and my sister said, well, my brother-in-law's uncle, I think, died and some of the stuff that I guess nobody in the family wanted or whatever, um, they donated to my sister's store and she said there was a bag of like Game Boys and a bunch of games and immediately my mind started going crazy with, I was like imagining like a Game Boy or a Game Boy SP, or a Game Boy, uh, uh, or not a Game Boy, but a DS, or something like that, and a bunch of, like, a handful, you know, like, of games for it. And there was this bag, so I open it up, and I'm like, oh, well, okay. There's a boxed, uh, pink Game Boy. Um, if I could get this out of here. It also has the... Seriously, it has like a little screen protector light thing on it. Um, I have not tried any of these out yet. They probably would work. I just haven't. Yeah, it lights up and does a little Game Boy thingy, but I don't have a game to put in it right now. I probably do, but I just don't feel like doing it. But yeah, box pink one with the little screen protector thing. Um, a boxed, which color is this, like arctic, whatever they call it, I think, um, 
Arctic Blue or whatever they called this one. Um, I don't, it doesn't have the battery thing on it, and I don't think I found it. I may be wrong about that. I haven't looked at this in like a couple weeks, and I just kind of glanced through it when I first got it. And there is a pink Game Boy Color in here too. Um, here it is. Does not have the uh, the battery pack on it though, or the uh, the battery cover. Um, this Pelican Game Boy case thing was in there, and by now I'm like, where are the games? And I thought, oh, maybe it's in here. No, there's like, uh, I don't know if these are the link cable. Like I think these are link cables or something. I don't know. I really wasn't in the Game Boy stuff. And another case or something, a generic case. And then there was um, magnifiers and lights and empty cases, more magnifier and lights, rechargeable battery pack things for them, and I'm mean, guessing, oh, this is why there's probably no um, thing, uh, some back for the Arctic Silver one, and... And I'm like, where are the games? And I think that's some other link cable type thing. And there's there's no games in here. And then I do find though in here one game, which at least it's a mildly decent one, Super Mario Land for Game Boy. Um, but that was it. There was no other games for there for, for Game Boy. But it had a bunch of these. That actually looks broke. Um, a bunch of these like little handheld type deals in here. So I don't know if that's what they thought or that's what they were saying were games. Um, probably the best thing in here is pocket poker. No. Um, there is a CD player. I don't know if it works. What's a CD player I hear the young people say? Um, it's one of these iQuest things, I don't know, two of them actually. I don't know if these are actually worth anything or what exactly they do. And there's a little Tamagotchi Angel. So I don't know. I was kind of disappointed. I was like, I thought there was going to be games in here, but it really wasn't. Make sure I didn't hit the thing. Then, where did this come from? Oh, okay. <clears throat> then the other day, last week on, I think, Tuesday, I see, driving along, and I see this thing on the side of the road. It's like a, look, it looks like a storefront, and they have this tent set up with all these tables and all this crap on all these tables. And so I'm with my mom and, and you know, we, we pull over and stop in and it's this guy and he has, he had this thrift store or this junk store, second hand store, whatever you want to call it, but he's closing down, he sold the building and he's just emptying everything out, getting everything out. And so everything that he was selling was super cheap, he was just pretty much like giving it away almost um, and I just kind of went through and picked out like everything that I could find that was video game related or just neat um, so I got a couple things uh, I got Ghost Recon for PC and I got a room uh, Rogue Spear Desert Siege and Island Thunder, all for PC, of course. And this is the only, like, actual console game I actually found in there. Supposedly they had more, like, gaming, computer games type stuff, but they sold it all, like, a couple of days prior, of course. It's always how it is. Um, but, uh, General Chaos for Sega Genesis. Um... Oh, yeah, I did find these, too. Um, I picked these up, like I said... It was pretty much like you got a box full of crap, and he's like, just was like, oh, and then a couple bucks, you know. So, um, rocket, uh, wait, wait, the rocket power team rocket rescue for PlayStation. 
Uh, Rugrats, Search for Reptar. And SpongeBob SquarePants, Operation Krabby Patty, which the cover is like messed up. It's not in there right. And. Oh. Uh, Combat Flight Simulator 3, Battle for Europe. Um, and I also found that that day, I went back since then. That day, I also found this. 2600 um, it's a six switch it's not a heavy um, and it's missing one of the uh, one of the dip switches here is broken off but I picked it up because I figured you know what I'll either use it or you know it, I might be able to do something with it and I also found which was probably the best find of that day, kind of, a Sega Dreamcast, I have not tried this out yet, um, came with the AV cable, did not come with the power cable, but it's like a standard one, so no worries, um, it came with a controller, but the, uh, the controller piece is kind of like screwed up right here. Um, so I don't know if that works. Later that same day, we stopped at another, like a little independent thrift store, and I found, which was perfect, a complete Dreamcast controller, a uh, Sega Genesis, uh, what is this, a uh, Pro Pad 6 controller and which is pretty awesome a I mean it's dirty but you know 360 controller official 360 controller these were I mean that place I mean they have everything out and most stuff doesn't have prices on it and you know you just pick up what you want and take it to the guy and ask and you know he was like give me a couple bucks so I gave him a dollar a piece for all these those three controllers and then I also stopped at a Goodwill that day, the same one I found the boxed NES games. And when I was walking back there, I saw this and I, j I wanted to run because I've ha I had this box earlier when I was a kid. And I love this game anyways. But uh, Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father, which it's the uh, CD version. And all it has in it is the CD. There's no box or, or, uh, or manual or anything for it. Then when I was looking through the other stuff, I found this, which is awesome find. Um, the EA Strategy Collection, which has Battle for Middle Earth in it, which is a very expensive, well, it's, it's rare or very sought after um, strategy game. But it's sealed, brand new sealed, and this was... I think it was two ninety nine, or I think it was two ninety nine, and so this is an amazing deal. Um, the next day, I went back to that guy's place that was cleaning out everything, and I picked up some more stuff. I got ink cartridge just for trading. I picked these up mainly because, like I said, they were pretty much free. Um, Midtown Madness and Winter Race 3D for PC. Not really, I don't think, worth much of anything. This, when I when I saw this, I was a little bit upset um, because it's actually a pretty valuable um, controller, but there, the batteries are corroded inside. I'm going to try to clean it up and see if I can get it to work, but it's a Logitech uh, cordless uh, wingman joystick with the receiver for it. Um, hopefully I can get it to work. If not, maybe I could sell it on for parts or something. Then, which I was really stoked to find this, um, a Commodore cassette. Uh, deck. I don't know. I'm assuming this is for the Commodore 64. I'm guessing. 
<laughs> I wish I knew more about Commodore computers, but yeah, I was just when I saw this, I I snatched it up and I was like, sweet. Yeah, I got that. And oh yeah, there's one more thing. Um, if I could get up without disturbing a sleeping dog. This next thing I got. After I picked up them, that little pack of My Little Pony stuff, I told my mom, you know, sometimes My Little Ponies, like the older ones or something, I was could be worth money. So she went to an auction a couple days later and found this and got it with something else and paid like $3 for the whole lot and ended up selling some of the other stuff to other people at the auction and made her money back already and stuff. So it is a My Little Pony carrying case with... A couple My Little Ponies in it. Uh, like I said, I have no idea what any of this crap is. And a uh, package of uh, Band-Aids. It's probably My Little Pony crap. Yeah, clothes or something, I think, for the My Little Ponies. I don't know. I just, like I told her to look out for it and get it if it's cheap. And this was basically free. I haven't had to chime to look up to see if it was worth anything or not or what it was worth or anything so uh yeah i'm pretty sure that's about everything that i've gotten in the past couple months unless i'm forgetting something um yeah i think so oh no i got a couple more things hold on I picked this up on a half off day. It's the uh, strategy guide for seventh guest. Um, this I got. Where did I get this? I got this at like a good at a, at a Goodwill. I think. Pretty sure. But it's um yeah it's a Goodwill. Um, C++ in action, which is actually, if you go on Amazon, it's actually like still like $20 or more for a copy. So that was a good deal. It was like a dollar. And then I got this, um, which is a really good deal. I paid like, what is it? $2 for it. Um, Jurassic Park, Lost World, Chaos Island. Um, yeah, that I think is it. So, if you sat through all three, I think, of these videos, or four if I split them up differently, um, thank you. Uh, I guess I'll see you later. I'm going to hopefully try to keep up with this more so I don't have giant pickup videos to do all the time. Um, so, yeah, thank you. I realized I forgot something. Um, at a pawn shop, I went there, and they have... Uh, it's the one, it was the very first thing I think I showed you. They have, uh, G, uh, Game Boy Advance games and DS games. And, um, they have some that are, like, three for $25 and some that are, like, three for 20 or three for 15 or something like that. These ones were three for 25 and I picked up, um... Zelda Four Swords, for GBA, uh, Pokemon Leaf Green uh, version for GBA, and Pokemon Diamond, which I have not tested these out yet. Um, my DS is sitting over there charging, so I have to try these out. But even better. For me, anyways, because I haven't played this game yet. I got Assassin's Creed Revelations disc only, and apparently it was somebody, I don't know if they stole it or what from Redbox, but I don't know. Never mind, Redbox, this is not here. Um, but yeah, I got this game for uh, $3, I think, because it's uh, disc only. But that should be the end of the pickups. Um, pickup pickups. Oh, yes. Um, 
I forgot because it was tangled up in here, but um, I also got a power adapter for, um, should be for a Game Boy DS Fat, Game Boy SP, um, so that's cool. Came from that same guy that I got this joystick from and stuff, so it was pretty much free-ish.